my side hustle is in a really weird position right now. It's, I can't, I honestly, I can't tell if it's going well or if it's going terribly and everything's about to explode in my face and break and just come crashing down all around me. It's, it's a really weird place to be because my, my stated goal for the year is I want to double the revenue from last year. And that's great. I have no idea how I'm going to do it, but there we go. If I count the big corporation deal that I got, that I mentioned in a, in an earlier video, I'm essentially already there. I've already one, like 1 1.2x my revenue from last year, so all I have to do is sell a couple books, maybe another workshop or something, and I'm done for the year. And it's only February, so that's kind of weird. Invoicing big companies, turns out, is very difficult and takes a really long time, so who knows when that money is actually going to show up. That's a different problem. Another thing that I've realized is that the rest of my business, outside of that corporate deal, because I've been focusing so much on that stuff, is kind of tanking, to be honest. I think, I mean, I think it's tanking. Um, sales for the React and D3 book are kind of going down, mostly because I haven't been trying to keep them up, and these things only really sell around launches and when you're doing promotions and stuff like that. So that's kind of going down which is a really bad thing because while I'm waiting for all that money to show up, I don't have any money to do stuff right now. If I don't count the, the corporate money, then I'm so far away from reaching my goal, which is also a problem, but an interesting problem, a problem I want to solve. Now, the cool thing is I recently got some advice from a guy who specializes in giving advice for this sort of things, Ramit Sethi. He, he said that a product business makes money two ways, either you make more product or have more launches. You can have either new old product launches or new product launches, doesn't matter, but launches and new leads. I, I'm not getting a lot of new leads because I don't know why. I'm not, I'm not very good at optimizing that. I get like maybe 20, 20 to 50 new email subscribers per week, which is really not that great. People are usually talking about how, how they get thousands and I'm very far from getting thousands and I have no, no idea how to get to getting thousands. So the other thing I can do is I can put some elbow grease in and launch a bunch of products. So what I've been thinking is I made this little roadmap last night. It's, it's kind of a crazy roadmap because what this here says, I want to launch an average of one product per month for the rest of the year. So product launch in March, product launch in April, May, and so on. So every month there should be a product launch. I'm not exactly sure yet what those products are gonna be. What I wanna do is launch an average of one product per month and make sure that these are small focused products because I don't wanna spend another year developing a product that then starts tanking the next year like I did with React and D3. So small focused products and launching one of them every, every month, we'll see. I think I can do it, but it's terrifying. Honestly, it's a terrifying prospect, but I think, I think a possible prospect. We'll see.